What's up y'all, it's Akira and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I have gotten so far for my college dorm room that I'll be moving into in a few days now. The stores that I went to consisted of Walmart, and home goods um everything else i kind of ordered some things online or some things i already had that i'll be using and bringing to college i'm really excited to do this dorm haul because you know it's something new for me and it's just really exciting so let's get straight into the video i'm gonna work my way from the front to the back because i kind of have mostly everything in my bag but there's some big items i will just show y'all like i'll move the camera and show y'all because you know i ain't gonna be lifting all that up okay so we're gonna start from the front to the back so i think the first thing we're gonna start with are like my basic cleaning supplies and toiletries so you know this corona even if it wasn't corona you always gotta have your clorox your bleach so i bought this small bottle i might get a bigger bottle later all the pants so i bought this small bottle of bleach i also bought two rows of paper towels for now you know as i go i'll buy more but i got my cleaning supplies i got all this clean supplies toiletries and school supplies yesterday and all of the bigger stuff i got a few days ago you also gotta have your disinfectant wipes your all-purpose cleaner disinfectant spray for the counters you know you gotta have well, this, this one's the pine glove, okay? Look, I was being very cheap yesterday, okay? I was on a budget yesterday. <laughs> so, you gotta have your smell good, fabuloso, pine saw, anything. For you to mop with, for you to wipe the counters with. And I also have some, just some house spray. Well, dorm spray. I also bought some baby wipes. You can't go wrong with baby wipes. I think every person, you just need baby wipes because, you know, every time you go to the bathroom, you can't just use tissue, okay? You need baby wipes. Also, I bought some dishwashing liquid. Um, I also know that I didn't get any tub cleaner, so I could either use this as my tub cleaner or I could use my all purpose spray until I buy some foaming cleaner. If I remember, I'll buy it like today or something. I bought some tissue, but I left the tissue on the floor over there and I did not like getting it. I bought some tissue, guys. I bought like 10 rolls for right now. I also bought some. Lysol, gotta have it, better know it, okay? I think that's all of the toiletries and like cleaning supplies that I bought thus far. Like I said, I did this yesterday. Yesterday I brought my cat to the groomers and I had time to kill. So I just went to Walmart and bought a few things. Um, If I forgot some things, I'll eventually buy them, you know? I have a few days till I go. And even when I'm there, you know, I have enough stuff, you know, to last me for a little minute. Next we get into the school supplies. My professors didn't have, well, they didn't put out a syllabus yet, really telling me what is required for their class besides the textbooks. So I just bought basic school supplies. I didn't want to go overboard like in elementary or even kind of like in high school. I didn't want to buy too much, but I think I bought just enough. Anything extra I can give to my little sister because she's in middle school. So I get started with the binder. So, I just bought a white basic and a half inch binder. I also have an extra binder over there. It's a black one. So, I want to have two binders for sure. And if I need more, then I'll eventually get more. Or, you know, one class requires one whole binder. I could eventually buy another binder. But to start off, I have two binders. Next, I have some college rule loose leaf paper. I don't know, like, if they want white rule or if they really want college rule. Because college, you know. Might be crazy, but I don't know. So I bought college rule just to start off with. And if they really wanted white rule, you know, any nothing to go to the dollar store and get white rule for like 50 cents, okay? So I got two packs of loose leaf to start off with. Also got five different um one subject notebooks because I have five classes this semester. So let me see if I remember what colors I have. So I have a nursing. I have a nursing 104 class and I chose purple for nursing. 
I also have a biology class. I'm trying to remember. No. Okay. So, scratch that. I chose a different color for biology. I chose yellow for biology. Because I believe that science is either yellow or green. But I chose yellow. I have a English elective class. And I chose... I think I chose blue for English. English, yeah, LA, to me, that color deserves to be blue. Next, I have a statistics class. I have a math class. I chose red for math. And lastly, I have a basic university 100 class. And I chose green for that class. How everyone is like, you know, different subjects go with different colors. Like, I kind of believe that. So let me know if y'all agree with my um color options for my classes because I think I did good now I also bought a these plastic folders for each class you know one folder for each class you just never know I just want to be really really organized going into college because you know it's something that I never experienced before and I just want to be um steps ahead all the time I did try to color code the tablets with their folders but they didn't have any red or purple folders. So I just have to get more of, you know, yellow, green, and blue. So I just make it do what it do. You would expect for Walmart to have different color folders. I bet Dollar so had them though. <laughs> and I also bought a pack of binder dividers. As I said, I really want to be organized. I think this would be really helpful, especially if I have like two or three different classes in one binder. Next, you have your lead pens. I've been using lead pens for years. I don't know how long it's been since I wrote with a regular yellow pencil. It's just, I don't know, all the sharpening, it's a lot of work, okay? So, we bought some, um, I got 24 lead pens to start off with. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using them as often as I did in high school or just it disappearing i feel like i'm gonna keep track of them way more and i forgot to buy some lead replacements i forgot to buy that i also have a pack of red and black ink pens each of these come with 10 so i have 20 pens right now um i'm missing some i need to get blue pens i feel like those are the basic pink color colors you need either um you need all three of those colors okay black red and blue so i'm gonna buy a blue i might go to the store today i might buy some more things today I also bought Sharpie highlighters and permanent markers. You'll need the permanent markers, especially with labeling each class. All right, y'all. I think that is it for my school supplies. Just double check it. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the ground so we can move forward. All right, y'all. Now, since we got the toiletries and school supplies out the way and cleaning uh, materials, now we're going to get into the actual dorm furniture, dorm necessities. Okay, let's get into it. So, like I said, I'm just going to start from the front, work my way to the back. So, over here on this side, I have my towel, okay? So, I don't know if I can tell already, but my theme for my dorm will be pink, gray, and white. So, I'm going to have everything alike with the theme. So, I just have some pink and gray hand towel, face towel. And I also have some pink and gray big back towels okay i'm gonna come back home once a week anyway because i work when i still have my job back at home back out here for a little while so <clears throat> i'll be able to wash my clothes and everything frequently next we have the pink and gray pillows just throw pillows for the bed Next, I have my cups and bowls. So, I have a few gray cups, a few pink cups. I have five cups altogether so far. Because I'm mostly a water girl, so I drink a lot of bottles of water. I rarely use cups, like seriously. I really drink out of cups. And then I have a few bowls to start off with. I need to get some more bowls. And we didn't have any gray bowls, so we had to settle with, this is like a dark blue. And I just to cook anything in, you know, in the microwave or anything. Because I don't think we have stove tops. Like, I looked at um, the dorm rooms on YouTube. Like, people who went to the school that I'm going to. 
and I didn't see any stove tops in the kitchen so I'm really thinking about buying one of those burners that comes with at least one or two like like burning plates so but I don't know if we can have that but I am thinking about that I don't like to cook my noodles in the microwave I have to cook my noodles on the stove I don't know about y'all but I gotta cook my noodles on the stove also for my bed I have a I have a gray throw blanket it's really soft and it's really cute with the little things being there in the bottom now I chose a gray throw blanket because my bed spread is pink you know you can't have too much of one color also so I have the gray um, throw blanket the gray sheets and then I have the pink bed spread so I got this bed spread at home and I just thought it was so cute. This is how it looks. I like the pattern. I don't know if I can really see it. And it comes with a pillow that says, say, home is where the heart is. <laughs> so yeah, so got the pink comforter along with the gray sheets, gray throw blanket and pink and gray pillows. You know, the basic um, pillow that I see for, we're gonna get to that later. Also for my bed at the dorm, I have a mattress topper because I've heard from my boyfriend told me and I think I saw on TikTok that the beds are, you know, a little hard, a little on the hard side, maybe uncomfortable. So make sure to get you a mattress topper, okay? So your back won't be hurting every morning that you wake up, okay? I also have a pink and gray tapestry. I'm not sure. This is what the pattern looks like. I never opened it yet. My mama just ordered it for me. So, but I think this this will match with the room really well. I can't wait to show y'all uh, um, a dorm room tour after the moving vlog. I think it's gonna be put together like really, really pretty. Okay. Next for my desk, I bought a basic desk lamp. You know, I usually don't study like when it's dark anyway, so I don't really know if I really use this. Hopefully, I do, cause usually. If I study, I like it to be the daytime. I might have the blinds open and all the lights on. So will I ever need this extra light? I'm not sure. And it may be nice where I study at night, but we'll see. we'll get there. Another thing that I have for the room is a gray rug. Like I said, you gotta have that balance between pink and gray. Cause my bed, you know, the bed is mostly pink because of the big old pink bed spread. So you gotta have that balance, okay? So this is just a gray and a white pattern rug. It was only $25. Next, I have a organizer little board slash calendar thing to put on my desk. You could change the month. It's a dry erase board, you know, change up the month and it has Sunday through Saturday all the way over here. Um, and I'm going to just be writing down, you know, any important things, due dates, homework assignments, um, and stuff like that. And I got a little space for notes at the bottom, so I might write encouraging notes to myself, you know, to keep pushing because I feel like it's going to be rough, okay? But we're going to get through it. So this is um, just something great to have, you know, on your wall, on your desk. Just something great to have in your room. Next, I bought a toaster, okay, to either cook toast, toaster strudels, you know, them frozen pancakes, frozen waffles, okay? Anything, girl. I think a toaster is a must-have in a dorm. I also bought some utensils, a few utensils so far. I bought a pack of forks, spoons, and a pack of butter knife so far. I'm going to get the rest later on as I see what I need. Because like I said, there's not really many cooking options inside of the dorm. You know, it's why they have the cafeteria and everything. Now I'm going to start talking about storage just a little bit. So I have this three drawer tiny storage container. I think that um, me and my roommate share a bathroom. But I might leave all of my, like, I'll leave my toothbrush, toothpaste, my wash. Um, I also can put, like, my hair, my hair scarves, scrunchies, fire pins, anything else up in here. So anything that I want to keep, like, to myself, I will be using this manager drawer for. You can put anything in your jewelry. So I'll just have to decide. But I know for sure it will be, like, bathroom stuff that I really want to put in here. Next, as y'all can see. I have this big old three drawer storage so 
I think in this storage, I'm going to use this for shoes. Because I have one in my closet right now for shoes. So I know I'm going to use this for shoes. Maybe bags. And maybe just like clothes that I don't fit into the closet or in the drawers that's already in the door. So if I know for sure I'm going to use this for shoes, I'll, you know, put anything on top of it that I may need to put. Extra storage. I also bought this six pack foldable bins, the cube storage that goes under the bed is foldable. So if it's ready to, um, if I'm ready to move out and everything, I could just fold this up. You know, you ain't got to carry each individual box. But this, you know, six cubes that I would use, I'll put this under my bed or against the wall, something. I'm thinking I need the bed. Um, I'm not sure what I will store in here yet, but I know I will definitely use it. That's why I just bought it because I know it will come in handy. I have a lot of hair supplies, so I might put my hair supplies in here and maybe some food, like the dry food, like snacks. Because I do have a mini fridge, we will get to that later. So like, like snacks, candy, stuff like that. Next, I have my wireless printer. You need a printer and a laptop if, um, you know, you're able to in college. I think it's very important, even though they have it, um, they have printers and laptop on campus. You know, sometimes you may be finishing an assignment up and it's late at night and you don't always want to go, you know, walk outside late at night. Even though it's on a university campus, I just think about my safety all the time and I don't like to go out at night, you know, alone. So, I bought a printer so I can print anything out in the comfort of my dorm if needed. Next, I have a trash can. My dorm room, it says, take me out. If y'all didn't know, I have a cat. Like I said earlier, I took my, my um, cat to the groomers yesterday. And that's when I went by my um, school supplies and my toiletries. So he just says, take me out. And I loved it when I first saw it. So this is going to be my trash can for my room. I also bought a pack of hangers. This comes with 18 hangers. And I think that's all I'm going to need because those closets are not really that big. So I have hangers. You know, I'm not going to take my clothes off the hangers. But I'm bringing clothes from my closet. I'm going to keep it on the hangers. Just going to fold it up you know into the storage bin and if i need extra hangers i'll just have some extra hangers next we have my rolling laundry cart okay they say if you buy a laundry cart make sure you get a rolling one and i you know i agree because ain't nobody want to carry that you know how heavy laundry um basket be especially with a lot of clothes them things be heavy okay so this would be really good because, like I said, I'm going to come home once a week. So, I'm going to either wash clothes with my mom or I have an aunt that lives close to the university that I'm going to. I'll wash it over there. And so, yeah, this would just be really helpful. I have my MacBook Air. This, I just bought a new case for this, but this was my brother's laptop. And we've been using it in the house for, like, the past year. And it's still a good laptop, so I'm just really happy that I did not have to go out and buy a brand new laptop. It's basically still new. This is like the um, 2017 version, so I think it'll last me all throughout college and even afterwards. So, you know, just have my laptop. Like I said, since I can't carry the other things, I'm just going to show y'all from the floor. Alright, like I was telling y'all, I did buy a mini fridge. Let me move my bears out the way. <laughs> I bought a mini fridge. It's a four by four one year warranty and i think this is big enough i guess this is the storage inside so i think i'll be able to store like um tv dinners you know fruits juices waters anything else in my mini fridge i also think that everyone needs to have a door mirror or a stand-up mirror in your dorm room because baby you gotta see how you look you know the bathroom mirror is not going to show your whole body so you need to always see how your whole body looks lastly i have a smart tv this is another thing <laughs> from my brothers when he moved back here he bought himself um a bigger tv and so this is just an extra tv that's been sitting on his floor so i'm going to bring it to my dorm so because i don't really watch cable so i really needed a smart tv because all I really watch is YouTube and Netflix and everything. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, that was it for my dorm haul. This is the stuff that I got so far. The only thing that I'm really missing is, like, 
um, microwave. Um, my mom is going to order me curtains. I am also missing laundry detergent if I decide to wash my clothes. Um, and the university's laundromat. And there's a few more things that I'm missing, but those are like minor things. So I basically got majority of what I need for my dorm. Like I said, I'm really excited to share this journey with y'all and just to go on this journey in general. So the next video I'm going to show, it might be my dorm, like the moving in process, moving day. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's going to be my next video, but I'm thinking that's going to be my next video after this one. So I really hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on moving day or whatever my next video is. <laughs> I'll catch y'all next time.